will rate. I think today I will be leading the stand up just so that I understand how everyone is. And um, yeah, some of the ups and downs, and hopefully this week should be the last one for that. Um, so how are you so far? And are there like applications, job applications, and how many have probably people applied so far? And then how's your, you know, love and hate relationship with sleep so far? Just let me know. Anyone want to start or like how was how was the week? Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, the week was uh, good oh, and regarding the lip, uh, uh, I, I wasn't comfortable using it because the all the matching is like below 30% for me. So, and uh, um, when mm -hmm. and, can, you, uh, can you maybe can you maybe just show us like just open it and screen share and then uh, let's see like because it, it will help okay. maybe there are some errors and mistakes or you know, this is work in development, so that's why we don't want to hold you from applying, of course, like just to the job that you find, even if nothing, you know, if the, the match is not good. But the match that means normally that we probably don't have enough data, right? And you have data, so, you know, we're not in control, you are in control. So. So Michael, are you gonna screen share? Okay. Hey, can you see my screen? Yeah. And now it is says something went wrong. I don't know why. Uh, can you clear your cache just? Just for the sake of, like, can you log like log out just by clearing your cache from on the? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Let me just check. interesting is that the same for everyone let me just check just updated now with lots of bug fixes but maybe i introduced bug mm. just give me a minute Yeah. Uh, yeah, who is the hand? I am not and my brother, so you can go on. So Abraham, like is it related to this or or anyone? Huh? I was trying to speak up Okay. Um Okay, so let's um so is is everyone not working for for it for everyone or is it just for because i think if so then what i would do ah yes it's not it's not working on my side okay Mm. 
Yeah, and unfortunately, one of the the challenging aspect is that we have to design it again differently. We are unable to see how you see it um, from the trainee side. So when we test, sometimes we test it. So that's um, one thing that we have to actually improve. Like we we know how like we have certain from other batch, of course we use, but not for examples like we I don't have for example I can't see how Michael would see currently and what error he gets, so that I mean I I can see the errors from the I have to go to the now the deployed part, so that's why it takes a slightly some time. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, maybe just kind of check your, um, yeah, so just don't worry. That's because it's not deployed. Okay, so while I'm fixing, um, maybe just I want, um, so what was scheduled, Pascaline, or who was supposed to lead, just so that I don't um, hold the conversation. Let's do it parallel. I'll just get back to Michael, and then we'll con continue from here. But. In the meantime, you can continue. Just let daily stand up and then let me get back to this issue. Um, Pascaline, if you are talking, you are on mute. Okay, I think Pascal is having some issues, so maybe uh, if anyone else wants to go and tell us about their day today. How was it? How was the challenge submission? Anyone? My other? Okay. So you are audible. You are you are you are audible up to the um, up to okay. okay. So it's just that we have to wait uh, probably for people to get normalized. Like, so they were, I think Abraham was next. So maybe just both Michael and Abraham, we can continue to like beyond the loop part of it. And then like, I will just start, start again exactly from uh, where we are. So, yeah, so maybe just Abraham, we can continue. And then Michael, you can continue also just the other updates that. Uh, you really wanted to talk. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and 
have been uh, exploring with it and also preparing the the company profile, uh, the company profile studies, and also the data structure and algorithm uh, analytical challenges, and I have been working on that yesterday. I have, uh, have submitted uh, the deliberate some time, and I have also tried to solve about three or four uh, analytical challenges. And uh, I also have a few questions about LIP, but I think it should uh, should stay and I should uh, ask in a second. Maybe after the issue is over. Yeah, that's my point. Okay, thank you, Abba. Michael? I think Michael is in the call. So maybe let's go with Hillary. Um, good morning, everyone. Ye yesterday, I I submitted a challenge on um, company study, and I worked on the code challenge, uh, lead code. Um, uh, so one thing I encountered was I I, I, I wasn't seeing my code, my uh, my successful uh, code that's being pushed to GitHub. Uh, is using GitHub, but um, I was able to, to post that one for help. But um, uh, it it was okay. And then on Leap, I I it wasn't working for me like most of the day from around evening. Uh, uh, it's the same error I'm getting right now, five hundred the five hundred error. So in the morning, I that's what I started with, and I uh, looked at few jobs. Many are many include data analyst jobs, so like almost twenty, almost twenty of them I have found are data analysts, and yeah, I had to like skip mostly. Okay, what was your uh, challenge that you faced with this code? Did you did you mention it has? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The extension lit. Lit, lit, I think it, yeah, lit hub for me to push my code to GitHub, the, the successful uh, codes, but uh, I, I, I'm not seeing anything happening. So I, I logged in. Uh, yeah, I'm not understanding what the issue is. Okay, I saw the suggestions how much to use GitHub for pushing the code from lit code to GitHub. So um my like after I've successfully solved a challenge, I'm not seeing it pushed to GitHub so I was still figuring out that one. Oh, okay. So so you want to push the code from lit code to GitHub and you are having issues yeah. with that. So. Yes. So are you trying to directly push it from Bitcode or are you going to create a repository locally and push that to GitHub? No, there's LitHub. Uh, li so there's an extension called LitHub, L-E-E-T-H-U-B. So I logged into that one, use that one to try to push it to GitHub. To, it will automatically push GitHub and, and show some metrics there. Yes, like the what you've sold, whether is your me. Okay. I hope you will be able to fix the issues that you're having with GitHub. And if it's not possible, maybe maybe you can create a report locally and then push it from that. Regarding lip, so since you are working on it, hopefully it will be fixed soon. Okay. Um, it's continue. Anyone else that wants to share voluntarily? Yes, Martin. Hey, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I hope everyone is well. I'm well, but uh, I keep getting uh, my my Tenex platform just sometimes just doesn't work, and I don't know why. Like. 
I'm, every time, like in the evening between 9 to 11, it just doesn't load, plus the lip as well. And lip, I keep getting that error, that 500 error. I don't know why, but uh, because I, I, I've done all the company research, and whenever I want to upload them, I, I, it just doesn't open. It doesn't work. I don't know why. But uh, I've, uh, I've accessed it right now, and, and it worked. So I'm going to I'm uploading them. I mean, I'm, I'm going to upload them, and then uh, I haven't really started working on the lead challenge because I, I I saw it yesterday and I read through it. But I was uh, completing the the, the 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 company research projects, but I finished those, so I'm going to start working on the data structures project as well, and the lead. And but I've been using lead on my own to do like SQL, like the challenges. So I I I have an idea of how how the interface works. Yeah, and also I have uh, tried to work work on the interview process as well. I've read the, the materials and I've practiced it on out on my own, like physically before I record. Yeah, so that's my progress right now. Great, Martin. Uh, regarding 10x, did you maybe try uh, incognito mode, logging into incognito mode? Pardon? Did you try logging into 10x from incognito mode, maybe from private uh, incognito mode? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I, I I use Chrome, so I've been using it. It has been working fine. So, but uh, then I I think I realized maybe, was, uh, maybe just maybe on on this one. It's like sometimes when after a system upgrade, what happens is that your token, you like you have a cache in your token, and then that's of course expired. But it's kind of that feels like until you clean it, it might be not working. So normally when that happens. Just go and clean your cache for that, um, you know, for that site, and and try it. And if you try that one, I, I think it should be working. Um, if not, just really tell us because that's that's that should be a bug that needs to be fixed. Yes, yes, uh, I figured that out and uh, and I cleaned it. Now it's now it's working fine. Except the except leap. Of course, leap. I keep getting the five hundred. Leap, leap, leap. Era, it's yeah. it's yeah. It's a very strange for some miraculous reason one of the package that to be installed like uv corn was kind of miss like missing only from the production aspect so it that means like it was failing actually like um so it's now being up and running like i mean it's because it's a csd now it's like a slightly it takes another three four minutes so we have to wait but that's uh, it's less because like it was not the back end was not running. But it will I will just get back to you as soon as that's the case. As soon as it's up and running, then I will um thank you for sharing, Martin. Anyone else that wants to go? How was your experience yesterday? How was the challenge and the challenge? Yes, Abdurrahman. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, yesterday was a good day for me. Uh, I started the uh, lead code challenge, but uh, I noticed that uh, I I don't use C++ for a long time, so I was have a basic on it, so I lost this. Uh, I just uh, solved one one problem. It took me a long time to memorize it, so I solved uh, just one problem. Uh, I will try to do my best today. Uh, for all the job sites, I saw the uh, leap under maintenance yesterday, so I just used LinkedIn. I applied for a machine learning role uh, as entry level in uh, Webook. It's a company provide a, a platform for uh, tickets, uh, event tickets. Uh, I also applied for uh, open position in uh, another company that provide AI driven uh, platform and data management. Uh, it's just open position and you write uh, the role you want in the application back. 
uh, I think that's all. Nice. So, were you able to submit the company study challenge yesterday? Can you repeat, please? Were you able to submit the company study challenge yesterday? Uh, I went to tenants yesterday, but uh, I didn't see any any place to submit uh, the company study. Uh, if I uh, is this uh, a third one or you mean the, the past just uh, two? No, for yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure I understand you all, but for this week, I think I submitted two two company studies. Yeah, so uh, there were supposed to be submissions. Right so, no, so there were supposed to be submission on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for the company study challenge. <laughs> so, uh, were you able to? Submit the company study challenge for yesterday. Okay, I think I think I understand you right. Uh, yeah, I, I submitted, but uh, I think I did too much things, so I don't I mean I don't remember exactly what uh, what I submit. So yeah, yeah, I submitted. Okay, so the other question I have is. Were you able to work on lead code? And if you were able to, how how difficult was the technical challenge? Uh, the problem I solved, uh, it was easy. So uh, it wasn't difficult. But uh, uh, the time uh, I took is to, to remember how to, to memorize uh, the C++. Did you face any blockers? Uh, until now, there are no blockers. Thank you, Abraham. Thank you. Okay. Any other person that wants to go next? Yes, Johannes. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, I have one question regarding LIP. Uh, I can wait till the end. Uh, but I have uh, two questions regarding to today's submission. One is for the interview preparation. Uh, for the first question, where it's a technical question, uh, what are we supposed to write or say for that? And for the lead uh, code challenge, uh, can someone explain to me uh, each column and what each column is for inside the Google Sheet? Okay, maybe. Pascaline, can you take the first question regarding the interview? Uh, sorry, can you come up again with the question? Uh, for the, four, the first question, where it says technical question, uh, what are we supposed to write or say? Oh, thanks for a reminder. Let me update that. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, was it was that an answer? Sorry. Um, I think she's going to be yes. updating the document. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. No, I yeah, just yeah. misunderstood. It's, it's, yeah. it's okay. small information that's missing in the challenge document. Uh, I'm updating okay. it. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. I think lip should be up now. Um, for some reason, it's slightly slower than. Uh, but maybe just we can, yeah, we can, you can finish. Uh, I think who was speaking, and you can finish, and then we can get to the. Yeah. Okay, so, so regarding the lead code Excel sheet, I'll be sharing my screen now so it's more understandable what I'm saying. Is my screen visible? Jonas? Yes. All right. So here we have an Excel sheet. And what you want you to do is in the 
adding your name here, your account, if your account uh, username, how many submissions you did, and how how many how long it took you to complete the challenge. So on the left here, you'll have a problem. So we want you to include the problem's title as well as the link. Then you'll be deciding whether it's it was an easy. I think you can see here on this code it is an easy, hard, medium tags. So you'll be adding those. And then on the tags, maybe you can add uh, what kind of um, what kind of concepts were included in this challenge. So for example, if there were stacks, queues, lists, you can add them here. And for is anyone else? Okay. For the time spent for each problem, you want you to include how long it took you to run the problem. Runtime analysis, you want you to include how long the code took to actually run. It should show you that once you submit on lead, you know, on lead code. And here, we want you to include whether you solved the problem or not. And here, on the type, for the, uh, for the type, I think currently we only have the structuring algorithm, so this should be the default. And then when you solved the problem, so the date, that is, is it clear to us? OK, maybe at the top, we we'll say total submission. Uh, for example, yeah. if we did. Uh, Previously, we submitted another eight course challenges. Should we include that? When previously, when I'm saying that, for example, uh, I, I did some uh, a lead course submission on my own before joining the academy. So no, should no. I put that? Yeah. No. Or oh, are we only include? Sorry. Yeah. So the submissions here is talking about the challenge. So I think there are around. Uh, five challenges that you're going to have to solve. So you are going to be writing some here. Total submissions indicates the number of submissions, the number of challenges you solved according to the challenge document. Okay, that's clean now. Right. Martin, do you have a question? Yes, 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 I have a question. I wanted to ask, uh, how many challenges are we supposed to do? Are we just supposed to do that one challenge? The two sums? There is a no, um, have you seen the have you seen the challenge document? Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 I've seen the tasks on it. No, I'm saying specifically from lead. Yeah. Okay. So, do you see the patient's part here? Oh, okay, okay. So, so you are supposed to solve these challenges. Okay. 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 Um, Jarvis, do you have a patient, or is it for the standard? No. Oh yeah. Uh, first, the question: uh, Do we? I miss. Uh, I think Hilary was asking: Do we have to uh, submit a GitHub for the ch core challenge? Um, so here we have the deliverables, right? Yeah. So on the deliverable, you are asked to only submit your Excel Excel file. So, so only which the Excel Excel file is, uh, yes, it's going to have to be this, this Excel file. Okay. I mean, uh, please make sure to check the challenge documents. It's very clear what you are supposed to do. The deliverables, the patients are all laid out in the challenge documents. Right. Um, is there any other question? Okay, so all right. Uh, also, for the runtime analysis, should we should we only be the time it took to run? Maybe you can add uh, the time it took and also the time space complexity. How 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 much memory it's using your code to run? How how much memory it's using? All right, Shayla. You can continue. Hello. Sorry, um, I wanted to speak on the stand up. Sorry. All right. No, you can't continue. It's just stand up. Um, so I was talking about my progress yesterday. 
I was able to submit my, not the lead code challenge, I was able to submit my company study challenge yesterday. I worked on Meta, so yeah, and that was fine. I didn't participate on the lead code challenge because I had some technical issues yesterday, but I read through the challenge document, and that's what I'm planning to embark on today as a first thing. Uh, I'm sorry, my network was cutting off. Can you repeat what you said? Um, I'm saying I was able to submit the company study challenge yesterday. I was working on Meta. I wasn't able to work on the lead code challenge because I was experiencing some, te te some technical issues yesterday, but I was able to go through the challenge document. And I'll be working. It's the first thing I want to start on today. All right. All right. Understood. Thank you. Sir. Um, okay. Anyone else that wants to go next? Come in, guys. All right. Oh, what are? Oh, but are you not able to speak? Okay, let's continue with your side. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, Thursday, uh, I was working on the uh, company study challenge, and also I was trying to understand more about to update myself on uh, Gen AI related stuff. Um, that's uh, mostly what I did, uh, and I tried to apply to use uh, um, to submit uh, some. Uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, I tried to apply uh, on the lib system, but I had some challenge. I think it's fixed now. I haven't checked it uh, in the morning. And yes, and I was also trying to connect on LinkedIn. That's why I've been doing. Okay. Um, were you able to submit the company study challenge yesterday? Uh, yes, I did. Any other blockers you have? Uh, no, I haven't checked the lip system yet. So I think the other will say that there is an update. So I haven't checked it. Yeah, we're currently working on. Uh, fixing an issue with it, so we let you know once it's fixed. Okay. In the meantime, I hope you guys are applying to jobs, even if it's other than me. You guys are going to LinkedIn, Indeed, um, Zipplicator, Blastor. So we hope you guys are applying to jobs, doesn't matter where, so you guys are applying. Okay. Um, Abraham, uh, like I said yesterday, we are currently working on this patient. So I will update you when there is an update. Um, okay, any, any other person that wants to go next? Let's sell it. Okay, so yesterday I was also working on the uh, last company study. Uh, I did this company study for a job that I applied on LinkedIn for. So I was able to submit the company study yesterday. In addition to that, I was trying to do the... I was, I was doing drafts for the interview preparation video that and like script that we're supposed to submit. I was also working on that yesterday. And for the leap system, I was trying to use it on Wednesday. And like most of the people have mentioned, um, 
the match scores were low and also uh, the outdated the jobs were some of the jobs were outdated so i was just focusing on applying for jobs on linkedin specifically until the leap system is um better and like you said you, you since you since you mentioned that you were working on it i was just focusing on uh, applying for jobs on linkedin right now great yeah that's the spirit so i'm right we want you to apply to jobs as long as you apply leap would be uh would be getting ready in the meantime regardless even if it's leap, leap is ready if you do find jobs outside of LIP, you still want to apply to those jobs. So please do continue what you're doing. Thank you. Um, any other person that wants to go next? Grace, maybe can you unmute and speak? Hello. Hi. Uh, I yesterday I worked on the other company study and I worked on the interview preparation part. I have not done the video yet. I'll do it today. For the applications, I I don't want a remote job. I don't know if it's possible to filter in the leap to get a hybrid job or something like that. So I've been applying on other channels. Uh, okay. Hey, Grace, I have noted your comments. I'm let you know how it goes regarding getting jobs at a hybrid as well. Um, no, I think, unfortunately, we don't filter hybrid. But what does it mean even? Like you have to be located in that place. That means in the US or in Europe, or do you mean like in the country that you live in? Um, Grace? Yes. Uh, because I have some personal issues, I can't work remotely. Yeah. So. I was looking for like a job in my locality where maybe I can work like three days in the office and two days at home, something like that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think in principle they can come, but it's unlikely that they will be advertised in places we are uh, searching. So in principle, yeah, in that scenario, mostly you should be looking at LinkedIn, filtering it specifically to that. Probably also you might not it might not be in LinkedIn, but other areas where actually, you know, job posting places where actually you can um, you can see them. But in the future, these things would, if you find places where we can get data from, like in, in that locality, maybe we can just consider, you know, scraping it from that. But given that now we are searching more, uh, you know, for remote job all over the world, it, it's probably we can't actually filter it any other way. That's, I mean, we can, because it's a global, I mean, we can add countries. I think we can add just, uh, where are you based? In the UK. Oh, okay. So if it's in the UK, then you already have it. Yeah. So it's, you can see on the location. Um, so Europe is totally included as well as also you know the us and in general in the continent sense all continents are included so i i i assumed that you are not like so in that case you can filter yourself like the jobs that are coming to you but unfortunately we will probably not specifically for you we have we haven't designed it that that way so the process is such that it's actually filtered for for these countries it's like europe the us and um Australia, all continents, Africa, and then what, whatever we get, we will just give you. But just particularly UK for you to come, it would make, it means we have to change a lot. Um, so I don't think it will be ready for anytime soon in that sense. But I think you, in, in your case, it should be very easy because there are lots of jobs in the UK. Thank you. 
So you, you could be applying actually um, from LinkedIn easily. All right. Thank you, Grace. Um, how was the uh, LinkedIn challenge? I wanted to ask you that. Have you seen the challenge? Grace? Uh, yeah, I saw, I saw the challenge. I attempted a few. Right. How was the difficulty? Was it easy, medium, hard? Medium. Medium. Okay. Please do continue working on those. All right. Thank you, Chris. Anyone else that wants to go next? Um, yeah, Travis. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, I was uh, looking at the technical challenge, trying to understand the big annotations and also the data structure in the algorithm. Then I tried some of the uh, leap code challenges. Uh, at first, it was a little bit hard. It was new for me, but uh, after a while, it was uh, got easier, and I I was solving the problems much faster. Uh, and also, I was uh, able to submit the uh, company study challenge. I uh, I did it on the long chain, but uh, I saw that most of the uh, job posts they they are doing is for uh, uh, San Francisco, San Francisco, because they are located there. And I don't think I was not able to find jobs on uh, uh, remote jobs uh, in that company. But it was good to. Uh, know about the company, uh, uh, and that's it. Nice. Was there anything interesting you found from Blanchain? Because Blanchain is a big player in the generative AI field. So did you find anything interesting about the founders, maybe? Uh, maybe the interesting thing is that I saw that they, I think they are very small in number. Uh, but when I uh, and when I searched a generative AI on LinkedIn uh, for a generative AI engineer in uh, Langchain, I was not able to find so many people. It just I think uh, a few numbers, so that was uh, surprising. Yeah. So maybe having a lot of uh, people in a company isn't really necessary. Maybe having less people. Could actually help, uh, could actually work as well. So that's one interesting insight. Thank you, Jarvis. Um, did you see uh, the lead code challenge? Actually, you mentioned that you worked on some of them in some time. You'll be able to, you are actually finding it easy. So, yeah, thank you. I remember. Sorry for asking that. Um, Johannes, can the mismatch of the information or profile in LIP affect the match score? So there shouldn't be any mismatch in your profile. Your profile should uh, should be your own self. So starting from that, if there is any mismatch, please do let us know. Your profile should be your own. Yes, Johannes. Uh, we already addressed that, but as the cover letter and the resume. Uh, it was generated with my maybe yeah. thought there was a misinformation, a mismatch between our information. Okay, so, so I want you to check one thing for me. Can you go to your, actually, LIP is not working correctly, so you can't do that. But if you have seen your profile on LIP, was it your own profile or was it somebody else? Uh, you mean in the profile where it say bio experience education? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was nothing in my profile. I added those information on my own. Wait, did you use the LinkedIn exporter tool to add your profile? Okay, I didn't do that. Uh, I added those information manually. Uh, so you should have used the LinkedIn exporter. We have shared those on Slack as well. Were you not on the stand up where we? Discussed about how to include your profile, how to submit those. 
Yeah, I missed yes yeah, so one stand up session. I think it was on Wednesday. That's right. So okay, uh, maybe you you should uh, I think you should still use you should still provide us from your link to your profile. Gabby, what do you say? And can you repeat that, please? So once Leap works, you want you to go to LinkedIn and then export your profile and then save that profile uh, on Leap. You can upload. There is an upload profile button on your profile. Then you you paste the LinkedIn profile that you copied. There is an an, an extension. I think we have shared this on Slack. Maybe if you go a bit back. You'll find it's the LinkedIn export tool as well as um, a video on how to export. Yeah, so once you have those, please export, uh, upload the profile on Leap. Okay, so I have a question for others as well that we're finding um, a CV with different naming. Maybe Abdurrahman, I think you are one of those. So can you? Can you speak? Okay, uh, I got a correct CV, but uh, uh, from what you said now, if uh, I want to add another information, I should uh, update my LinkedIn profile and then uh, no. uh, upload the JSON file again, or no. I can just uh, do it manually. Yeah, you can do it manually. So you uh, uploading it from LinkedIn actually is easier for you instead of adding it manually. But once you have uploaded your profile, if you have anything to change regarding any field that's on your profile, you can just manually change it on LinkedIn. You don't need to go back to LinkedIn and update there and then upload your profile again. But uh, where you where you getting uh, CVs with uh, information of other trainees? Uh, uh, no, uh, my CV was. Uh... Uh, suitable for me, but uh, uh, I think uh, I super like many jobs, but uh, I got one CV with uh, lowest uh, match. So uh, is this uh, was a problem and will not be happened again or? So in order for the CV to be generated, you should have at least greater than 60% match score. So you should have that match score greater than 60% as well as you should super like the job to be able to have a CV and have a little generated. If the match score was the match score greater than 60% and when you super liked, you didn't generate the CV or? Uh, uh, the match score was low I sup and I super liked the job. It was about 20%, uh, I don't remember exactly, but uh, the, the CV was created. Can you send me one sleep works? I want you to send me the job, a screenshot of the job, because that shouldn't happen. If the match score is less than 60%, it shouldn't generate even if you super like. So I want you to just send me uh, maybe the job won't be available. But if such case arises again, I want to send you a screenshot. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, Daisy. Daisy, you can go ahead. Hello. Good morning. On Wednesday, I super like a job that I got a 75% matched on, and the CV that was generated was for Getacho, both the CV and the cover letter. So, yeah, I'm not, is that what you're asking about? Yeah, so they when you was the profile you were in that on, on leap there is a bit of noise from coming from you. Is it your mic maybe? Yes, sorry, can you hear me now? Yes. But still there is some noise. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'll I can type it, but yeah, I can type it. Wait, I I think it's better now. I think so when you speak 
when you speak it, it's better, but when you don't speak, there is a voice. So maybe can you meet for a bit? Okay, yeah, so, so, what I, so what I want you to check is, uh, actually you can check now, but if you have seen your profile on Leap, was the profile yours? I mean, first, did you did you use the LinkedIn exporter tool and then upload your profile to Lip? And, and if you and if you did that, was the profile you were seeing your own on on Lip? Yes, yes, I uploaded my profile. I exported it from LinkedIn and then I uploaded it on Lip. And it was. And it was. Sorry, can you, can you repeat once you upload the profile, what happened next? I saw it, I could see my bio on Lip. Okay, so, so the profile on Lip was your own? Yes. Okay, so thank you. We'll be fixing those issues as well, so please do hang tight. In the meantime, don't, don't forget to apply to jobs. Even if you have to use your own CV, your cover letter, please, please do apply to jobs. Okay. Uh, should we go next to Tamaskan? Tamaskan, are you there? Yeah. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. So yeah, uh, yesterday I was going through the data structure and the algorithm. I was studying on that and trying to do the Bitcoin challenges. And uh, I, I had a, a portage uh, problem and I didn't submit the company's study. But I already did it, and uh, I um uh, um I didn't submit it, but I, um I'm gonna submit it uh, now. And uh, I tried lips, and uh, most of the match score was low, and most of the 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 jobs I was interested in was out of dates, so. I don't think I've got a job that I like that that was available. So uh, that was that. Uh, most of the was uh, outdated, and uh, yeah. yeah, I I get I get one job uh, this morning I think. So and it 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 directed me on crossover. So crossover has some requirements to fill to fulfill for job application. So I was doing that. Yeah, from Lip, I got uh, the, I applied for one job uh, yet, but I have applied for a couple of jobs from LinkedIn and another another job platform. So that was us. Yeah. Thanks. All right. So for the jobs on Lip, you'll soon be able to find jobs that are more recent and the old jobs what won't be coming. So you'll be able to find jobs that are more recent. And yeah, good job looking for jobs outside Leap as well. So as long as you're applying, you are doing good. So yeah, thank you. Okay. okay. Can I go? Yes. Uh, so on the feedback, uh, I was getting uh, many uh, data science jobs uh, consecutively. So. Is the feedback uh, works one after the other, or it 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 is for future uh, job recommendation? Like the feedback we give now will soon eventually uh, construct the the recommendation we get for later on. Is it yeah. if I yeah is is it like that or just for the next job? Yeah, in principle, it is. Yeah, in at least in a day, you should be able to see it. Um, but I mean, like, it's not fully yet implemented. So currently, we try to put 
as much jobs. So, and then based on your recommendation in a couple of days, like as, as we, like the feature on that is not fully implemented. So just the feedback we're collecting such that, you know, in the next week, for example, we'll be able to really adapt it well. So in a way that once it's implemented, what, what would it influence is exactly like it will, will add a score that just basically, so we'll also filter like, so it doesn't mean currently we don't believe that the score that you get is necessarily what you are because we probably miss information, you know, some of information that you have. So hopefully as, as you see your prop first, just make sure that your profile is like what you believe in, like, and, and it has every information and your profile should have everything. Like, you know, it shouldn't be, even if like you, you don't want to put those things in LinkedIn after you bring something from LinkedIn here, you can add, right? So once you have that, then we will know it's like the, just the, the scores are kind of like when we, when we know that you are happy with the scores, what happens is that you will not be able to see then things that are not scored and the score will be influenced by your rating, right? So currently we're just showing you everything. So in that sense, you know what, it's not influencing much. It's just going to be, you're going to be skipping it. If something you don't like, you skip it and we add lots of jobs in the pipeline so that you will be able to cover enough. But as, as your profile gets like complete um, and then the, the scores are more or less becomes accurate because you have all of your competencies there and your skills, then we will trust the, I mean, we will then use the filtering uh, on the score. Is that, does that make sense, Jonas? So hopefully by next week, um, you know, mid next week, or end of next week, the your rating start influencing a lot more. So not only just for that particular one, but your overall rating will influence. Okay. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Thomas Khan. Hope it's clear. Honest, do you have a question? Yes. Uh... So for the next three months, uh, are we still prepared to apply on our own, uh, aside from LIP? Uh, the reason I'm asking is that I'm guessing LIP, for example, when you scrape from LinkedIn, it only uh, check the job section, right? And there are still jobs that will be posted as a post. I say what? So you understand, like we're not just scraping from LinkedIn, we're scraping from the whole, I mean, we're not scraping, we're using a service actually that is like the Google Jobs uh, and others that scrapes from all over the world. So from every system. So we don't actually just, in the past, we used to scrape it from LinkedIn only. Now we have, like we're using a global job, like, I mean, it's one of the largest job store like or API. So that means we're not limited to um, LinkedIn only. Uh, LinkedIn is one, but, and every every other thing as well. Yes. Was it clear? Okay, thank you, Johannes. Um, is there anybody else that wants to go? I think this session has been long. Uh, there is a session that's going to be next after this, which is job gossip. So maybe you should in the stand up, and then yeah. we'll let you know if there is anything. What, what I will what I will do is that I'm just gonna fix whatever it is there, like some strange things, and then um, I hopefully we will meet again in the afternoon, just so that we can go through lip in particular. So please join so that we can sort out every issue that's going to be there. Um, and so that next week we will start, you know, also the weekend you can play with it, but next week in particular, you will start clean and, and without at least, you know, that the system supporting. And until then, please just apply. And then also just for Monday, like make sure just to get the number, you know, how many you applied so far so that we have a rough idea you know, it's expectation adjustment. 
And if you have if you have applied just one or two, then we know that means you know you have to push harder. And if you have been applying like ten or more and stuff like that, then you know we are we are aligned, right? So we need to know it's kind of like the expectations. So make sure just whatever you can apply with the CV that you have, so that we can um, on Monday we have at least the statistics to start with. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Great. guys.